Hey everyone, today we're talking about how to find the discriminant of a quadratic equation. We'll first go through how to find the discriminant, but then we're also going to talk about what that discriminant means. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more math videos. Let's go. In order to find the discriminant, we'll first need to put the equation in standard form. For our example, we're almost there, but we have that 6 on the right side when it's supposed to be 0. So to get rid of it, I'll just subtract 6 from both sides of the equation. Now all we need to do is find the discriminant by plugging in the a, b, and c values into this expression here. If you're familiar with the quadratic formula, it's just the same thing as the stuff inside the square root. For our example, our a value equals 1, b equals 3, and c equals negative 18. When we plug the values into this expression, b squared minus 4ac will get 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 18. This all simplifies to 81. And that is our discriminant. At first, it seems like a random number, but it actually tells you a bunch of things about the answers to this equation. First off, if we just look at if the discriminant's positive or negative, we can tell if the solutions of this equation are real or imaginary, which is kind of a whole other topic in itself. But anyways, if the discriminant is negative, you know that your equation has two imaginary or also known as complex roots. If your discriminant is positive, like our positive 81, then you know that we have two real roots. In the third scenario, if you end up getting zero as the discriminant, you know that you have one real root. If you have a positive discriminant, you can also take it one step further and tell if your solutions are rational or irrational. If the discriminant is a perfect square, like 4, 9, 16, etc., it means that your solutions will be rational. On the other hand, if the discriminant is not a perfect square, then your solutions are irrational. So if we look at our example 81, this is a perfect square because 9 squared equals 81. So we know our roots are rational. Just to summarize, because our discriminant is positive 81, we have two real rational solutions for this equation. By the way, all of this stuff makes sense graphically too. If your discriminant is negative, your graph will look something like this, where the graph doesn't intersect the x-axis at all. If your discriminant is positive, the graph will look something like this, where the graph intersects the x-axis at two points. So those two points represent your solutions, or also known as roots. This is just a general sketch because you don't really know which way it faces or how narrow or wide the parabola actually is. Finally, if your discriminant is zero, then it crosses the axis at only one point, and that one point is the vertex. Thanks for watching this quick video on discriminants. Let me know what other topics you would want me to cover. See you in the next video.